If you click this video, you're probably wondering, how do I get myself from a beginner Canva designer to a pro Canva designer in the shortest amount of time possible? Well, today I'm gonna take you through some simple things that you probably already do in Canva and show you a few ways that you can really level up your Canva designing. So let's get right into it. All right, so for today's video, we're gonna actually be using a t-shirt design concept to kind of reiterate all of these techniques that we are wanting to teach you all. So typically whenever you get into Canva and you've got a t-shirt in mind, you probably have some sort of idea of what design you wanna use. So let's say for today's purposes, we're gonna use this skull with flowers. Now Canva has tons of different skull options. You could go through here, pick your favorite. This one I think is gonna work perfectly for all of the techniques I wanna show you guys today. So truthfully, we could take this design and put it on a t-shirt and then be good to go. Like this could be the entire design. But what I'm wanting to teach you all is how to take a basic function of Canva and use it to elevate your designs. And so what I mean by this is instead of just taking a beautiful image such as this one, we can do things like adding text, coordinating colors, and things along those lines to really elevate the design. So what we're gonna do first is go ahead and shrink this down. I'm gonna add a text box to start. So let's pop over here to this left panel and we're going to add a text box. Now, if you do not trust yourself with font combinations or selecting fonts, they're gonna give you some suggested ones over here, which I highly recommend. They always have some really top-notch font pairings. We also have font pairings within our membership for Makers Gonna Learn. So if you're already an existing member, you have access to that font pairing resource in your dashboard. If you are not a member, you can click the link below and become a member for only a dollar. So that's just an option for you guys, but you can look through these ones that they offer you already, or you can simply come up here and add a text box and add in whatever text you would like. So we're gonna start with some sort of saying that kind of goes with the vibe of the design. So we're gonna go with the bachelorette theme till death do us party. Since this is kind of a little morbid, but like super cute and girly, I feel like that fits perfect. So till death do us, we're gonna put that at the top and we'll put party at the bottom, I think. So we're going to just kind of spread that out. Now, obviously Canvas Sands, don't let us ever catch you using Canvas Sands on its own. There are so many beautiful fonts out there. One thing that I always stress to people is picking fonts is so important in making a good solid design. Staying with things like Canvas Sans or just a basic Arial font is really not the elevated vibe that we're going for, okay? So let's think wedding, we're thinking girly, pretty, something maybe a little bit romantic even. Let's just try a couple out until something feels right. So this one is called Aston Script. So this font is definitely giving the vibe that I want it to give. And I'm gonna go ahead and add party down here at the bottom. And already that's just a no for me. The font we were working with was really just not giving us the vibe. So let's do this, till death do us party. And I'm going to shrink this down a little bit and then we're gonna add Lauren's Lauren's Batch Bash and then we can put the date underneath it, 2024. Okay, so you're like, yeah, I added text. Like, this is great. This looks great. I'm gonna give you guys a few pointers. So first of all, we just did the font in black. One of the first things that you can do to make your designs cohesive is add in colors from the images that you're using so that everything ties together. So depending on what type of image you use, you're gonna be able to pull colors off of that image. So what you're gonna do is select your text and then from there, we're going to go up here to this text color and then hit this add sign. Now, sometimes you'll see recommended colors and it will pull colors out of the image depending on if it's a PNG or an SVG. We're gonna go in and hand select our colors off of this image. So I'm gonna hit add new color and then you can see there's a color dropper tool. So we're gonna click that 
and then you're gonna get this little bubble. So you can hover over all of these colors and select one that is in the image that's gonna coordinate perfectly. I'm thinking this dark purple is probably the best bet. I'm gonna get down here in the darkest shadowed purple area because I want my text to be pretty dark. I'm gonna select that and you can see it automatically changes our text to the same color. And then you can come down here Go to your text color and it's going to be right there so you can select it again and we're going to do the same thing for 2024. so it doesn't seem like that big of a difference but really in my opinion this already made this look a lot more cohesive and a lot more professional sometimes just adding color can be super helpful to making designs look complete but something that we like to do around here at makers going to learn is take our text and incorporate text effects so whenever you select your text what you can do is select these arrows that go right over here and you're going to get all of these effects now depending on if you're in the new canva or the old canva these may be located in a slightly different area but for the glow up for the canva glow up they're going to be located to your right so we're going to hit see all and it's going to bring all of these up for us now if you scroll down you're going to see this curve shape we like to use this one a lot. I'm kind of wary using it on script fonts because sometimes it just doesn't look right, but we're just gonna be adding in a subtle curve, okay? So nothing crazy. We just want it to be slightly curved. Another thing you wanna make sure that you're doing whenever you're curving text is that it's centered in the middle of the text box. So let's go back and we're going to make sure that the alignment is to the center and not to the left or to the right. And then sometimes you can see there's a little bit of a gap over here and to the eye, this is looking a little bit uneven. So what I do is just take this little rotation and just barely tilt it to the side. And even though our bounding box is crooked, it makes your text look a little bit straighter. Now that we've curved our text over the skull, I'm looking at the Lauren's Batch Bash and I feel like I need to pair this with another font so i'm going to change this font to probably a serif or a sans serif font so let's go ahead and come up here to our text and see what we can find that's going to pair nicely now i used the calligraphy category before but let's go to some more let's go to either sans serif or serif i particularly like sans serif because they look a little bit more modern but since that death do us party is a little bit more old school it may not be the way to go we'll look and see what we can find and then go from there now if you guys think that i'm speaking another language i am speaking on different types of fonts so serif sans serif script those are all different types of fonts and we go over this in detail in our canva course this is a course that we have put together that goes into detail on everything you need to know in canva takes all these things we're talking about in this video and breaks it down into digestible pieces for you guys to learn Canva quickly and efficiently without having to go all over YouTube to try to find videos to learn yourself. So not only does the course have videos that you can use, but it also has homework assignments. So you're going to actually get to put it to practice as well as other resources within the course. So lots of fun stuff there. I'm going to put a link below for you guys. If you're curious about that, you can click on the link and you can go and see all of the details there. And we've got a special price that's going on right now. If you guys click that link, you're going to get access to that special pricing. As of today, we have not even released the course. So you're going to be one of the first people to be in it. It's going to release on June 4th and it's going to be super exciting. So we cannot wait to see you guys inside there. So we actually ended up going with a serif font. I think this is super cute and I'm going to shrink this down just a little bit. And then for 2024, I want to match it to the Lauren's Batch Bash because it's kind of hard to read and I want it to be a little bit more prominent. So something that you can do rather than clicking on this, trying to get the font type, trying to get the size of the font correctly, you can actually click on this Lauren's Batch Bash and hit control or command. And we're going to go to copy style and then select the 2024 and it's gonna pop it into the exact dimensions of the other font. So everything looks super cohesive. Now that we have our design done, I'm gonna select everything. We're gonna to go to position and then we're gonna align it to center. This is gonna make sure everything is perfectly lined up. You need to be doing this at the end of every single design, making sure that everything is all the way in line. 
Now, let's talk about making our designs pop. So this looks really good. Imagine it's on a white or a black t-shirt, but I feel like it's still just not completely done. So what I like to do sometimes is add a background element. And when I say background, I don't mean the entire background, but just something for everything to kind of mesh it together. So what I'm going to do is come over here to and I'm gonna type in color swatch, or you can do paint swatch, watercolor swatch. I'm gonna actually type in watercolor. And it's gonna give us quite a few different graphics. Now, if you don't see something that you like, play around with your search terms until you do get something that fits better. So let's go with this purple watercolor. I'm going to click on position if it's not already open and we're going to send this to the back. Now it's a little bit heavy, a little bit dark. So I'm going to shrink it down first of all, and then I'm going to go up here to my transparency and bump that down as well. This is something that I like to use a lot when I'm designing to kind of lighten up any areas that may be a little bit too dense in color because I want to use that purple, but I don't want it to be so dark and overwhelming. We, won't, we don't want our background elements to outshine the design in front of them. So I think that this is adorable. I am obsessed. Once you all have created a design that you love, obviously you can export this as a PNG, print and cut it on your Cricut, print it out, use it for DTF transfers, whatever your heart desires. But I really wanted to show you all that you can take these basic concepts you may or may not have already known in Canva and translate them into a slightly more elevated design technique, such as taking the colors out of the images you're using, adding text effects. These are just small things that you can implement today to really get to that Canva Pro status that you have been searching for. So if you guys like this video and you're like, I want to know more, I need to learn more about Canva. Like I said in earlier in the video, we do have the Canva course that is going to be launching in just a few days when this video comes out and we are going to give you guys a special prize. So make sure to click the link below and you're going to get access to that prize. We really would love for you guys to be a part of that community. Y'all, this is all new. Canva just updated. So everything is brand new ready to go, ready for you guys to learn, and we cannot wait to see you over there. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell so you're notified every single time that we post, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.